YTBC. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. And guys, I'm going in on some boxing website. I'm going in on one particular. And I want to talk about this dumb jack monkey called Dan Ambrose. I want to talk about this guy. This guy is a, a writer for Boxing News 24. It's one of these boxing websites, okay? And, you know, they're all over the place. But I want to talk about this one because there, there's a problem with this guy. This guy has a problem, okay? This guy has a problem with one Canelo Alvarez. I don't know what it is. I don't know why this guy don't like Canelo, but there's something deep down personal with him and Canelo and I, and I know it is I know it is you can't tell me because this is the fifth article in five months that Dan Ambrose has has written about Canelo Alvarez and basically point blank he bashing the dude bashing the kid the kid just got out of a big mega fight with Cotto uh, he goes in there convincingly beats Cotto I say eight to four but you know you guys say what you want to say I ain't finna argue with y'all about that but what I am about to say is this guy got some against. He got some against Canelo Alvarez. But I want to talk. This is the tale of two stories. And I want to talk about this. I want to talk about 78 Sports TV. This brother, I need to call him Nostradamus. Because everything this man says is always the truth. It, it, I mean, see, everything this dude says, I done listened to this man make videos sober. I done listened to him make videos drunk. And even when he drunk, he still make common sense. And he make everything logical because it's easy. 7A Sports TV said, these boxing websites, he said, they're coming to the YTBC, they are stealing content from the YTBC, and then they're passing them off as their own. You know what, 7A Sports TV, I got to say, God dog at 78, you're right again. That's all I can say about this here. That, that's it, okay? I'm going to tell you why this man is right, okay? Now, here's this article written by this idiot, Dan Ambrose. And I can't call this guy a boxing uh, writer because he don't know nothing about boxing. This guy don't know anything about boxing. Everything that this guy gets from his articles, guys, he's already got it from another source. This guy don't go to the fights. This guy don't do anything. This guy sits back. He waits for us in the YTBC to drop a video, and he compiles his, art, his articles. Okay, the jig is up, Dan Ambrose. We are on to you, and we got proof, man, because I'm going to tell y'all. Here's an article, okay, he wrote about Willie Monroe Jr., okay? And I'm dropping another video about Willie Monroe Jr., too. Um... Uh, Willie Monroe Jr., he was asked, not by Dan Ambrose, not by Dan Ambrose, okay? Not even, okay? Dan, uh, Willie Monroe Jr. was asked by Ellie Setback, and Willie Monroe Jr. pretty much said that, okay, well, Ellie asked him, he said, hey, who do you think will win between uh, uh, Triple G and Canelo? And Willie Monroe Jr. said, I think Canelo will win, okay? I think Canelo will win because, you know, because he had a lot of success with Triple G on the inside, okay? Pretty much word for word what he said to Ellie Setback word to word the whole mannerism of the argument even when he quoted Ellie he quoted the same thing the art, the whole article was based off an interview that Willie Monroe Jr. gave with Ellie Setback this guy didn't go and interview Willie Monroe this guy didn't go read it this guy didn't go research it he looked at a video in the YTBC and he formulated his article and I'll be damned Seven Egg, you're right again Okay, first of all, Dan Ambrose, you go, you steal an article, okay, you steal it, because we know you're not that smart to think about this stuff, because we know you don't know nothing about boxing, we know you don't, okay, you steal an article, you bash Canelo Alvarez once again with your own agenda, because see, Willie Monroe Jr. didn't give you the answer you wanted to get, so what, what did you do? You went ahead and you scripted your own thing, what you think, well, Dan Ambrose, nobody asked you what you think. You're supposed to be the article writer. You write the article on what was said, dude. You write the article. Willie Monroe Jr. said that he thought Canelo would win. Nobody wants your opinion. Professional article writers, if they're giving you their opinion, they'll write a whole article based on their opinion. Okay? This is Willie Monroe's opinion, Dan Ambrose. You idiot. You know nothing about journalism. Here I am, a coach. As a matter of fact, everybody who dropped videos in the YTBC... We know more about journalism than you guys. We can, per we can do a perfectly good sports show. I mean, uh, you take five guys from the YTBC, you get us on debate shows, I bet you we'll do much better than first take, first fake, first lame, or whatever they call that show. Give me five guys in the YTBC, put them on ESPN, I guarantee you we will do better than first take. We'll do better than any ESPN show they got because we are pretty much diehard sports and boxing fans. And that's just the way that is. Just how it is. But this guy pretty much, and y'all know who Ellie Setback is. We all know who he is, okay? I think he got the biggest 
YouTube YTBC channel in the YTBC, okay? He's a big boxing channel, and he does other stuff, but he's primarily boxing. Well, Dan Ambrose put in the article right here. If you can see, guys, you know, I, I went to watch this, you know, Ellie Setback interviewing Willie Monroe Jr., and lo and behold, Dan Ambrose's whole article is scripted off of that interview that Ellie had with Willie Monroe. And hell, Dan Ambrose gave it away. He even put that he quote, he quote, he put a quote in from Ellie Setback in his own article. So that ought to tell you right then and there that this guy, you got to come to the YTBC because you go to Ellie, Ellie Setback website, he got his videos all over the place. So you know he watching the videos. And, and if Dan Ambrose is watching these videos, then 7 8 Sports TV right. Okay, he is right. They are not coming up with their own original co content, y'all. They ain't doing it, okay? And imagine, how many more articles, guys, how many more articles have this guy has actually stolen? I'm pretty sure he has stolen a whole lot, man. A whole lot. He done stole a whole lot. And, and I'm willing to bet that this guy done stole. Man, I'm going to start researching this guy. I'm going to get this Dan Ambrose on this phone, dang it, before 2016 is up, I'm going to get him on the phone, and I'm going to grill this guy because I want to ask him a thousand questions. Oh, well, Dan Ambrose, you might be looking listen to this video right now. I tell you what, Dan Ambrose, anytime, any place, anywhere, okay, you come, you go to my Google, you go to anywhere, you can get me on Google, okay, you send me a message, and you and I, we're going to discuss this thing because that's just the way that is because I'm sick and tired of you. First of all, you got certain fighters you bash. You bash Floyd Mayweather, okay? You sit here, you bash Rigo. You bash Canelo Alvarez. But I think Canelo get it worse than anybody. I don't know, man. I'm thinking Canelo stole his girlfriend. I, I don't know what else to say about this dude. But I tell you what. I tell you what. I'm going to keep on making videos every chance I get about this Dan Ambrose until something done about this. And that's just the way that is. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done.